How you doing? My name is Tommy Montana. For those of you who don't know me, you're on Team Street Dreams channel. Uh, please like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I got a little bored today, so I decided to install the wideband on Aphrodite. Um, it's probably one of the easiest things I've installed, honestly. Um, Aphrodite is a 2014 GSXR 750. Um, really not many mods done to it. I got a slip on and I have BMC air filter. I uh, do have nitrous. Oh, it's ran on a nitrous progressive controller as you can see from one of my older videos. Um, hooked up the wideband today. A very, very, very simple install. You got two wires or sets of wires that plug into the back. I'll go back over here so you can see a little better. So you got those two wires that just, they plug into the actual display. And it comes with a O2 sensor. If you do not have somewhere to put the O2 sensor in, it comes with a O2 bunge that you could have welded in. Me, I was lucky enough where I had one already and just screwed it in. I had to play with it a little bit so I could, because the plug won't just fit through here. I had to slide it in here and then kind of mosey it back so I could fit the wires in. Uh, the O2 sensor wires, it's very, very long. I mean, I think this is like a universal kit so it'll fit in cars. So I got literally all this extra wire right here that I stuffed into the motor. And then for me, there's only two wires that you actually have to, that I'm using to wire in, and that's the power and the ground. So you got the red wire that I tap, uh, since I'm not using a tag light, I just use the power wire for the tag light, which is this gray wire. So the red from the wide band, I went to the gray for power. Um, and then I have a ground wire that I was already using for my compressor so I just you know tapped into that and it runs down to the computer I mean the battery now it says to use a 5 amp fuse but I didn't use one I figure the lights are fused so I'm using that should work theoretically um I did run the wires along the factory wire you know this little clip in here for the ignition switch and then i ran it down above the radiator because there's like a plastic thing to protect it and then i just ran along the factory wire harness it's probably one of the easiest things i've installed on this bike honestly the nitrous progressor took me a day of running wire, hooking wire up. The kill box was like another half a day to a day. And this literally took me an hour. Um, I also did get this fancy, or not fancy, but this bracket I really like from a guy named Nick Russo on uh, Facebook. Uh, the company he has is M NPT. Um, and they make these for a whole bunch of different bikes. I think it's a very clean look for it uh, Give me a second. I'll turn this on so you can see it Find the damn key bike real quick
do have a couple more things coming in the next two weeks. I got a evil swing arm coming in, so I'll probably do a video on that. Um, I am going changing the sprocket once again, and I got a new chain coming in also, and chain guards. So, so uh, if anyone wants to buy that chain guard, I will have it up for sale very shortly here, probably within the next week or two. Uh, thank you for watching, and until the next time.